was born <coughs> prematurely um, with the cord wrapped around his neck, so he starved of oxygen at birth, which caused cerebral palsy. Throughout Kieran's early life, um, we always used some sort of technique, which was advocated by the physio whichever th physiotherapist we had at the time. And when he got to teenagers, we sort of approaching teenagers about 11, we noticed that he was growing quickly and we wanted to prevent him getting wheelchair shaped. And because of my nursing background, I knew that when people had had a stroke that we could actually do something to stop foot drop and things like that. So there must be something that we could have done for Kieran. So I started looking around and the physio recommended going to an awareness day for postural care. And I sat there and I thought this makes common sense, absolute sense. Why aren't we doing it? We have been fostering children with disabilities since 1988. Uh, the first boy that came to us was called Stephen. He'd been in long stay hospital until he was 15 when he came to us. He'd had no postural care and he had a mixture of high and low muscle tone, which meant that his body asymmetry was really quite horrible. There's no other way to describe it. He was very windswept. His lung was compressed on his left hand side. Both his hips were dislocated, one to the front, one to the back. Uh, his knees were dislocate, dislocated and he had dropped feet. Um, he was just in pain constantly. He would do an overflow of projectile vomiting because his stomach was also compressed because of his windswept condition. Uh, we used to just have to get on with it. Pebble dashed the walls was how he described it because otherwise he'd just cry. And his hips were a source of constant pain to him as well. Every time he got a cold, he got a very serious chest infection. And when he was coming up to the age of 19, he got bronchiolitis and unfortunately he died. And that was because his chest was so compressed that he only had one lung that was functioning and even that was stretched to a great extent. So Stephen's life was spent in pain, really. Mm -hmm pain and discomfort and it was all down to the condition of his body. He'd had meningitis as a baby uh, but beyond that he shouldn't have had that pain except for his poor postural care. The principles behind it um, we got used to fairly quickly but because Kieran's had almost 12 years before we started this of sleeping in a position which caused um, his body to stay in that shape it's taken him a lot longer because I mean, even when you go into hospital when you've had a caesarean or anything like that and you have to change your sleep position, it takes a while to get used to it. And um, Kieran's had all that time in a comfortable position, feeling safe, because he was put on his tummy right from birth to prevent his, um, well, one, his seizures, because he had tonic-clonic seizures, but for when there's a loud noise, he also jerks and jumps. So um, to stop that, they put him on his tummy, which made sense at the time, but that's what's... We were trying to prevent his body going into that shape. We carried on fostering and the next boy that came to us also had his problems, but thankfully not quite the same because some children have a mixture of high and low muscle tone. Some have much more even tone, which can be more easily managed. So the second boy that came to us was had less problems. We still had to be aware he could actually stand with help, but his knees were contracted. And that again could have been avoided by postural care, getting his legs, let, let gravity do the work. When he was sleeping on his front, he was um, flat on the bed and that's what made him feel safe. So by tucking this in around him, that gives him the same sort of feeling that he's a snug and safe. Some of the challenges have been um, actually getting Kieran into, into a new sleep position. And not everybody's on board with it. So when when you're relying on professionals for advice and you've you've actually spent all this time finding out information uh, learning about the technique the postural care techniques and you know what feels right for your child and then to have to rely on somebody else who's who's not exactly saying what you're saying but still wants the best for your child and that and that that's sometimes a challenge <laughs> but it's a challenge that can be overcome by working in partnership and I think that's that's the whole 
idea of postural care is that it's not just reliant on one person, it's it's the whole circle around the, the young person, the adult, whoever it is who's using postural care, is that it's a team approach. And then we had a third child, we fostered a third child, and she came to us as a baby. And all I could think was that she had such a beautiful body. It was just so straight and so perfect. And I thought, I don't want her to go the same way as the two boys. But back then, I didn't really know what to do about it. I could try a little bit, and I did what I could, but I didn't really know how to do the full hit. Then when she was 14, in the same way as Pauline, I was asked, would I like to attend the Postural Care Awareness Day? And I thought, that's it. That is exactly what I want for her. I want to do that. But unfortunately, at 14, some problems had arisen already, and she does have high muscle tone and low muscle tone, which is very difficult. But she's now almost 19, the same age as Stephen was, and she is fairly straight. She has a mild scoliosis. She doesn't have dislocated hips. She doesn't have dropped feet. Her lungs are both very functional and perfect. She can take deep breaths. Um, every cold is just a cold. She doesn't have projectile vomiting. She doesn't have any of the bad things that happened to Stephen, and that is down purely to postural care. I wish I'd started when she was younger. I wish I'd known how to start when she was younger, because then she wouldn't even have the slight scoliosis she has now. But we keep working on it, and we know it can improve. It's not fixed. It can improve. Because he's been lying on this arm for so long, it tends to droop backwards. We have to support underneath there as well. And you just collect cushions. Once you know what you're doing, you just collect cushions. I wouldn't say he's completely used to it now because it depends on how he is on the day. Some days he heals fine all night. Some days he's not. And if he's not feeling well, he just won't. He just doesn't want to use it and it's all dependent on Kieran. But the benefits we've seen, even in those five years of continuing with using postural care, have been enormous. Ready? Kieran's right hip is actually dislocated, so we have to be quite careful how we move his legs. It took a while because initially I was shown how to use the postural care system, which is really quite simple, um, but I was looking for too good an effect. I wanted her dead straight, straight off, first night, and the poor child couldn't do it. So it was learning to slow down and take it at her pace and not at my pace. That did take a little bit because you do want to do the best and straight away. But now it's automatic. I, wouldn't, I couldn't see her sitting either in her wheelchair or on the settee without doing a twizzle. Get the hip straight, get the back straight. It happens, I don't even think about it now. And people laugh at me and I'm thinking, why are they laughing? It's because I've done my little twizzle. Five years ago, Kieran had quite a marked scoliosis. Um, and there was some talk about when he, he'd stopped all his growth spurts during puberty, that they'd, stop, they'd put some rods in his back to straighten his back. Um, and obviously they monitored that on x-ray and on examination as well. Over those five years, that scoliosis is completely gone. I would imagine the, the biggest thing is actually prevention, which is very difficult to explain the benefits, because I know the way she was going, and I know she was going exactly the same way as Steve, and she hasn't gone that way. So the benefits for my aunt is that she's never had to go down that road, route of constant pain, um, distress, discomfort, difficulty with breathing, difficulty with swallowing. Uh, she still has a few difficulties in that she is in a wheelchair and she can't feed herself so she has to be fed all the time and looked after all the time but with postural care her life is 100 percent better than it would have been without we need to support under his knees because what we're hoping to do is because his legs are quite tight with sitting in the wheelchair is to let gravity work on his knees so that his legs can go straighter the other benefits are um He's managed to keep eating. They wanted to put um, to peg feed in because of his swallowing reflex. 
wasn't that good. Um, we still have to be careful with it, but now he can eat meals with us, and one of his greatest pleasures is being out and about and eating out with family and friends. I know if a child has disabilities, it's very difficult. You've got an awful lot to cope with when they're babies, when they're young. You've got to take all of that on board. It was easier for us in that we fostered a child who we knew had, had meningitis. But truthfully, the sooner you start, the better. And it's easier. She was much easier to put into a good position when she was two years old than she would be now. But now at least we're doing it all the time. If we'd done it back then, it could have been even better. So keep going, keep doing it, and start early. You just check that everything's supported and nothing's going to catch to cause pressure. Are you ready for your head? Now what we're trying to do is support his shoulders. You ready? Right. We would like this leg to move over a bit more and that's what we're working on. But when he first started, he was really windswept and over that way. So it's coming back slowly. We're sleeping better because he's sleeping better. And yes, we have to monitor him um, to some extent, but we're not moving him as much as we were without the postural care. He's concentrating more because he's sleeping better. Um, so he's less, um, he's less frustrated at school. If you're unsure about it, find out what it is, what it would mean for you, what the benefits are, talk to people who use it, um, give it a go. You've got nothing to lose by giving it a go. Um, and everything, if it does work, how fantastic is that? And I'm sure it will work because it has done for us and it has done for other people and then some of Kieran's friends. So it's not just a one-off. I've seen it work for other people and... And I know he doesn't enjoy it all the time because he's a boy and he's coming up to 17 and he doesn't want to do what his mum says but he has actually asked to go in his, his sleep system when his body's been aching. Sometimes he's in his chair all day at school or on trips out and when we come, he comes home he actually asks before it's even bedtime to go in his, his postural care sleep system. So yeah, I think it works. In fact I know it works. <laughs>